Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. In today's video tip, we'll take another look at ranges, also called transits, and how to use these for navigation. Ranges can be formed by either Coast Guard or natural ranges or two objects, which line up in line as shown here. Notice that the aftermost range board is higher than the forwardmost range board. You want to keep these two objects lined up in line as you enter a channel to stay in deep water. Think of current and navigation as one or more of these five factors. Wind can set you to the right or left of track, causing side slip or leeway. Sea and swell action can make steering difficult Tidal current is a horizontal flow of water influenced by tides and by geography. Compass error, also called deviation, is caused by metals or electrical current close to the compass. This can pull the compass card to one side because of the magnets located on the back of a compass card. You always want to keep metals or electronics at least three feet away from a compass to alleviate or reduce error. And steering error is from human or mechanical devices such as autopilot or wind vanes. Now that you know how navigation current can push you to one side or the other, it's important to know how to stay on range and the action to take if you're set off range. Take a look at the relationship between the front and rear object. If the front object is to the left, steer to the left to regain range. If the front object is to the right, steer to the right to regain range. Use easy sailing navigation tips like these for safer sailing on the waters of the world. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.